Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today is Friday. Hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Hope you guys are having a great start to your good Friday and a three-day weekend. I know you guys are probably ready for that. Today is going to be the Easter story. Um, I'm going to start in Matthew 27, verse 11. So it says, Jesus before Pilate. Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. He, when he was accused by the chief priests and the others, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not into a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. Now it was the governor's custom at the festival to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time, they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Jesus, Barabbas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, which one, you, which one do you want me to release to you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he knew it was out of self-interest that they had handed Jesus over to them. While Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, his wife sent him the, this message, Don't have anything to do with an innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today and dreamed because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and have Jesus ex executed. Which of, you, which of the two do you want me to release to you? Asked the governor. Barabbas, they answered. What shall, what shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? Asked Pilate. But they all shouted up all the louder, Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but, it, but that instead an uproar was starting, took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd, I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It, it is your responsibility. All the people answered, His blood is on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but had, but he had Jesus flocked and handed him over to be crucified. Let's see. Soldiers mocked Jesus. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into Praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand. They knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head and again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put on his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The crucifixion of Jesus. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon. And they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gal, but after tasting it, he refused to drink. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there, and above his head they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two rebels were crucified with him. One on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. The same way the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants, for he... He said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were, cruci who were crucified with him also heaped insult on him. The death of Jesus. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabatani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He's calling Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge and filled it with wine vinegar and put it on a staff and they offered Jesus to drink. The rest said, Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that time, the curtain of the temple was torn into two from the top to the bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split, the, and the, tom the tombs broke open. The bodies of the holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. With the centurion and those who were with them 
who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. Many women there were watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of Jesus, and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons, the burial of Jesus. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. Pilate ordered that if, he get, if it be given to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a, in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary who were sitting there opposite the tomb, the guard of the tomb. The next day, the, after the one after the preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that the Seaver said, after three days I will arise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made to secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. The last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting, a, posting the guard. Jesus has risen. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for the angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, his clothes were white as snow, and the guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I, I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, he is risen. Just as he had come and see the place where they lay. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he has said. Come and, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He is risen from the dead, and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, now I have told you. So the woman hurried away from the tomb after yet filled with joy and ran to his disciples. Who are you so the woman hurried away from the tomb afraid and yet filled with joy and ran to the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met with them. Greetings, he said. They came to him and clapped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The guards report. While the women were on the way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priest everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money, telling them you were to say his disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out, keep you out of trouble. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed, and the story has been widely circulated among the Jews to this very day. The Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to him and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I commanded you. And surely I am with all I am with you always, to the very end of the of the age. Well, guys, that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. And please subscribe, like, and share, and smash that like button. Smash the like button for the risen and crucifixion of Jesus. Show Jesus some support. And if you did not like today's video, or you have a preference of what you want to see, or you just don't like the videos I'm posting, or like you want to see something, I'm always up for that. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see if I can do it. Um, I'm thinking about next Thursday, maybe I'll do prank calls. But it all depends how school goes. Um, all depends. Tomorrow would be the Minecraft scene that I made for the crucifixion and Jesus rising again. Um, I hope you guys are ready for that one, because I think that was a good one. And stay tuned for that, and have a great Easter, guys. And there might be an Easter egg hunt video posted on Easter. 
If not, stay tuned for Monday. Monday, I might do another past my pastor. I might post my pastor preaching again, but a different preaching this time. All depends. Stay tuned for that, and hopefully see you guys soon.